think whenever you have a wild animal in private ownership, whether it's a an accredited roadside facility or someone's backyard, I think it poses a huge danger to the public. Many of the incidents we've seen in the last few years occur in these types of environments. We've had five people killed by big cats in the last three years, and these were all big cats in private ownership. Um, I think it's a huge danger when these animals are, are uh, when, when the public is allowed to have contact with these animals. These are animals that are predators and we are prey and given the opportunity in these types of unnatural environments they will try to kill you. I think we've created the, the situations where these animals are not allowed to engage in their natural behaviors. It's completely unnatural for them and then you put them in contact with the public. I think it's just an accident waiting to happen. A lot of times private owners will try to remove the, the canine teeth or sometimes all of the teeth uh, and the claws of these animals in an attempt to try to make them less dangerous, which is really a farce because many of these animals, even without their teeth or without their claws, can inflict a tremendous amount of damage. So if you can imagine removing a healthy tooth that's intact, whether it's done with pliers or however it's done, there's a potential for creating a great deal of trauma to the mouth. You can fracture the mandible, the lower jaw, or the maxilla by trying to extract these teeth. Um, a lot of times these, these teeth have multiple roots. You leave a root in the in the mouth and it will form an abscess and it's very painful for the animal and cause problems for them down the road. Um, in many cases I've seen big cats that have had their claws removed with garden shears. When they're young they just snip it off. A lot of times these animals will, will uh, engage in a lot of self-destructive behaviors, a lot of abnormal behaviors. You'll see stereotypic behavior which you know constant repetitive motions and and pacings around an enclosure. A lot of times they will self-mutilate themselves. I've seen you know, many medical cases where uh, animals have literally chewed themselves to the point where they've even chewed off limbs and fingers and digits because they're so stressed. API's investigation has revealed disturbing new evidence of the critical plight of the lives of exotic animals in private hands in the United States. We've uncovered shocking evidence of poor conditions, inadequate care and treatment, and real threats to public safety. And what's equally worrying is that none of the inadequate care and treatment that we found violated any federal law or the relevant state laws. Purchased as cute infants, exotic animals are forced to live unnatural lives in human households. Non-human primates, for example, are often raised as children removed from their mothers too early and without the companionship of other primates. We found these animals forced to wear diapers and clothes and taken around on a leash. API manages a primate sanctuary so we know firsthand the impact that humans can have. These animals that come to us from private possession arrive with behavioural and psychological problems. We see directly the impact that humans can have and the damage that they can bring upon these animals, damage that may never be repaired. API believes that the only way to end the suffering of exotic animals and the dangers to the public is to end the breeding, trading and sale of exotic animals for private possession and profit. API will continue to work to educate the public that wild animals do not belong in private homes. Action is needed now. Given the serious problems associated with the private possession of exotic animals, it is critical that states act to pass strong legislation. API is a leader in the fight against the private possession of exotic animals and we will work with state and local legislatures to ensure that this practice is ended. There must be no more injuries and deaths. We must take action now to prevent a future tragedy.